and thank you for joining us for another episode of Talk the Talk with me, Desh Palay Bechen. Today I have the Customer Relations Manager from Penta Motor Group joining me in studio. Jolene Ovenkamp is also the recipient of last year's Motoring Woman of the Year Awards powered by MFC, a division of NetBank, and well deserved, might I add. So. Jolene believes that your work should be your passion. So when you work, you enjoy that, uh, I mean, what you're doing and stay highly motivated. Passion acts as a driving force with which you are motivated to strive for better. She says that it also allows you the ability to put in those extra hours in the office, which can or may make a difference. At the beginning of every venture, there are hurdles, but your passion ensures that you are able to overcome Come these roadblocks and forge ahead towards your goals. So, without further delay, let's welcome Jolene, proudly representing the Pinter Motor Group, and this interview is proudly brought to you by Sariti Solutions. Hi, Jolene. Hi, Dej. How are you? Find yourself. I am well, thank you. I am so honored and so privileged to be meeting you. I have learned so much about you, uh, not just uh, through the awards last year, <laughs> but also now prior to us um, turning on camera lights and action. I have learned so much about you and I'm so proud to be sitting here with you. I'm going to start off by you, or by asking you the question, how did this journey begin? How long has it been? And yeah, what, what do you love about your work in Northern South Africa? Thank you, Dej. It's a privilege being here. <laughs> I think that working with people and resolving their problems um, is probably the most awarding. And um, I work with clients on a daily basis and seeing them happy gives me um, a great satisfaction. Um, our clients become family and that is what makes my, worth, my job worth um, every day. So we, we, we chatted a little bit about, um, you know, you being a mom, you, Jolene is a single mom, <laughs> so being a mom um, and balancing work, but this comes with even more challenges for you um, because your son has muscular dystrophy, which is um, unfortunately a disability. Please tell us some, uh, some more about your Oh, he's such a lovely person, um, <laughs> with so much of inspiration, um, and he's already so motivated. So tell us a bit more about, about your challenges um, in terms of work, working in motoring and raising a son with a disability. Thanks, Dish. Um, the, the, it is challenging. I won't, I won't um, deny that. But I think, um, to be honest, I think that is what I, why I've got so many passion for my job is um, it's my second home. Yeah. I, I believe in my work is my second home. And um, dropping him off at school and going to work, it's a, it's a challenge switching from one um, challenge to the next day's challenge yes. and working especially with customers, being balanced with your emotions yes. and always being professional. And um, you need to set that or put that emotions aside when you get to work. Um, it is challenging, but um, I, I believe in it's a mindset. Yes. And it, with what boils down is if you've got passion for doing your work, it becomes your, um, uh, how can I say it? It, it, it becomes your, like I said, a second home. Mm. You enjoy being there. Yes. Um, it's not like a job. Mm. Um, I think if you studied something and you go into a wrong direction, it feels like, yes, I'm working nine to five and it's mm. challenging and you don't mm. like it. Yeah. So it's for me actually a scapegoat going to, or scapegoat going to work and yeah. Um, yeah. not to be harsh, but forgetting about that challenge for yes. a while and for nine hours I can focus on my other passion. Yes, yes. So, so. it's actually a passion. Um, it is. <laughs> and that's what, is, uh, what they say. Um, love what you do and you'll never work a day in your life. So that's amazing. That's and I'm glad that um, uh, Penta Motor Group has offered you this home and this, you know, this, this opportunity to balance yes. that and have given you the security and provided you with the, uh, the support. And I've met Francisco, one of yes. your directors. Um, I think you have amazing directorship at no, Penta Motor yes. Group that, that champions and 
campaigns for women um, to be able or facilitate women, uh, for yes. women to, to balance the both, which is very difficult um, is. to do. Um, you are such an, uh, an inspiring woman. How, and um, surely the motivation comes from somewhere. How do you, um, or how would you advise our people to stay motivated um, or to become more motivated in their daily lives? I think um, what what um, we actually busy with a with an intern program at the Pentel Motor Group mm -hmm. for young people to get interested in the motor industry. Um, it so often happens that kids go and study something that is really not their passion, mm. um, and ending up hating going to work and it's just work hours. And I love actually working with these interns so that I can show them if you've got passion for what you do, um, you can actually uh, create fun in your yeah. work environment yes. as well. Yes, yes. And um, who has played a very integral role in your life in terms of um, your learning, your growth and uh, yeah, just you being who you are. I, I just keep on seeing the picture of you holding your trophy in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and that's an achievement. Once again, well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> well, Dej, um, when, you, when you guys um, told me about the interview and everything, it was, there's so many people that I need to thank for, for giving me the opportunity to be here today. Um, in my whole motor industry, there was it's it's uh, it's too many to actually mention. But there was three people that came into my um, into my thoughts immediately, mm. and um, I I actually the the two key individuals yeah. um, was um, is obviously is definitely Armand Roberts uh, okay. and Gerard Mulman and Elise Ruiz. Um, they're coming out of, they taught me so much about um, growth and... Are they from the Land Rover brand? Yes, they are. Okay, all yes. right. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Um, il, yeah, I, I know them for a while and they gave me so... I actually need to thank them for all the, uh, the leadership they showed me and um, everything that I, I, I've been taught today, that I know today. Mm, mm. Okay, and obviously the management of you, you mentioned that before? Yes, the, the, obviously the most important of all is um, the, the management of Penta Motor yeah, Group yeah. Um, has given me the opportunity to grow and mm. um, implement new strategies and mm. I'm internally grateful for that. Um, they, they are really a, a group where they um, inspire women and give them the growth opportunity yes. and always open for new ideas and leadership and stuff. Yeah, That's so. amazing. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you, aside from work, I mean, I know <laughs> um, the motoring industry requires to, you to work eight days in the seven day week, but aside <laughs> from work, when you do have extra time, <laughs> um, what, do you, what do you do for fun? <laughs> Well, obviously, um, I love spending my time with my son, Justin, um, in nature. I'm oh, a nature person. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, we love going to the farm and enjoy um, wildlife and the serenity nature brings. Yes. Um, well, if I haven't been on the farm for once a month, then um, I go insane. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> and... Um, Surely you like to surround yourself with, um, with people that are positive and your son is such a positive person. Uh, who's your favorite people to be around? Well, obviously, first of all, my son, mm -hmm. Justin, yeah. and um, my sister. I, I really want to. My sister is a big inspiration and role model for me, Vicky. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously my family, they're a very big yes, supportive yes. structure. So, yeah. so you've been, in total, you've been in the industry for how long? Well, um, since 2006. Wow, yes, yeah. 15 years. Yes. I'm getting good at math. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're doing it. <laughs> so, um, it's been a long time. It has yes. been a long time. What contribution or positive contribution do you think you've brought to the industry? I feel that um, I've shown that after sales in the motor industry is not just for a man's world. Mm. Um, as a female in this challenging field, um, uh, I've shown that a feminine touch can get the job done. Absolutely. So, as you know, because you were a winner last year, our platforms were created for women initially. 
to empower women and then I met, meet people like you that actually don't need empowerment. So I changed the platform and I started inviting men, not that they need empowerment, but I just said, listen, let this platform be a home for everybody, men, women, um, you know, for everybody. And so it's become a platform uh, that everybody can come and help me educate people in the motoring industry or help educate people that wants to be in the motoring industry. How do you feel about these platforms and the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards, which you <laughs> are a winner again? Uh, how do you feel? <laughs> well, um, there's the motor industry is filled with so many talented people. And that is absolutely a wonderful idea and passion that you guys um, implemented um, for individuals in the motor industry to grow and learn and also be recognized in the motor industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you so much. Is there anything you'd like to add to this conversation? No, I just want to thank you and your um, leadership that you always and your passion that you've always created in the motor industry. Wow. And I wish you guys well. Making me cry. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank it's you very much. Okay, viewers, thank you for following us on all our platforms, our non profit companies, the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards, powered by MFC, a division of NetBank, and the Talk the Talk Studios, powered by Suriti Solutions. I aimed at providing a platform to share our experiences and to educate the future generations to explore the endless and exciting career opportunities in motoring South Africa, just like Jolene's um, very exciting um, job role. So please subscribe <laughs> to our YouTube channel, Woman Talk, and please don't forget we have thousands of vehicles on sale to choose from countrywide on our vehicle listing portal at www.womantalk.co.za and remember viewers we only advertise for trustworthy and reputable bank accredited dealerships viewers it is important to face your fears exposing yourself to your fears is a great way to overcome a phobia or fear Think positively because part of a positive attitude is allowing others to love you and show you affection. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail like what Jolene <laughs> always does. You are never too small to take a difference or to, sorry, to make a difference, I would say. So with that, remember the question should never be who's going to let me. Um, it must always be who's going to stop me.